I mean, it, it, it was annoying, though, because I'm sitting there, and like, like, why am I the only one answering this shit? Yeah. Seriously. You know, uh, well, why am I being called a teacher's pet? Because none of you other fucks want to participate. The longer we sit there in silence, the longer we're fucking sitting there. Because Let's get this over with. Everything is high school. It doesn't matter when you go in the business world yeah, or what. And it's, it's amazing to me because I'm 32. I'm not. I don't have a high school mentality. I have a hey, we got shit to do. Let's get it done mentality. Let's just get the fuck out of this room. You know, and and they're sitting there. Some of these women, 40, 50 years old, they've been at this company 10, 15, 20 years. You guys know what we're doing here. You should know by now. It's just. Come on, it's just parading around. Mm -hmm. It's doing this shit because corporate. So let's get this the fuck over with. Let's all go the fuck home. Let's have ourselves a drink or a a, a smoke or what the fuck ever, blowjob. I don't know. I don't care what you do in your free time, but let's get to the free time part. Yeah. You know, burritos, yeah. Do the fucking, do the activity. Answer the stupid fucking questions so we can move on. It's not like you can't possibly know what what the que- the answer to the question. Although we'll say this fucking format of doing it like a goddamn Skype call. Um we were done with one activity and we ended up doing it like six times because we disconnected and didn't know where they were and then when we reconnected they were starting the second one. So we ended up doing it like an extra 3 times and I was just like, "Oh my fucking god, can we please be done?" It was it was definitely really annoying. I mean, we had tons of connection issues too, yeah. and it's like, well, what, what is, what is this? Why, why do we not have a dedicated connection for this kind of thing? Why are we using the public Wi-Fi for this shit? And our you know? garbage public Wi-Fi at that. Yeah, we we pay AT and T. This comp- our store pays AT and T. I don't know, probably two or three thousand dollars a month for this really shitty connection. It's like, okay, no. You guys are stupid, yep. you're bad. We have like 80 goddamn wireless routers in the store, which are way too many. It, I don't, whatever, man. I'm fucking, I'm heated now. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> like, pretty fucking ridiculous. I, I I mean, I sat in that room. I was there from eight to four. It was just, why? Why are we All here? I did, I like the first six pages of the fucking note, notepad they gave me was just doodles. Like, I just was some fucking drawing stupid shit. And then I started drawing, like, fucking, uh, I went, but basically my mentality went back to high school. I started, like, a draw on the margins. So I started drawing, like, TIE fighters and X-Wings. Start drawing that S uh, that's made out of lines. No, I didn't do I could never do that, right? Oh, really? I, I hated do, it. I did that a lot. I could do I that. hated it, too. I drew, but like, I mean, swords I and stupid shit and fucking uh, edgy <laughs> shit, guns and swords and, like, little stick man battles and stuff. Edge so I'm just Lord. sitting there drawing and just, like, drawing shapes and shit. And I look over and, like, it, uh, another manager from Third Shift is doing the same exact fucking thing. <laughs> I mean, what else do you do at that point? I mean, oh I, I didn't take notes. I didn't oh, study no. anything. I, I, it's like, it was just like, come on. I know what this is, guys. What'd I know you get what you're on doing. What would you get on the test at the end? 80. 80? Yeah, yeah I, I, I passed. I did, I did just well enough to pass. I got my stupid fucking pen, and I was like, I can leave now, right? Oh, okay, they didn't even you. give us a pen. Oh, they didn't give you your no. pen? Oh, you're due a pen. It says Spark It Certified. Oh, God. Yeah. So how you guys doing today? We're just you hey. know, ungodly geeks here. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. We're just sitting here airing our grievances about some corporate bullshit we had to go through uh, the last couple of weeks. Being a manager, it's it's got you know its benefits of having money. Yeah, I mean a we make more money. We make a little more money than an average associate, but it also comes with extra bullshit. Which just, you know, makes sense. I mean, yeah, I know, of course. It's, it's just, just annoying. <laughs> right. It, it, it's overbearingly annoying in, at times. Yeah. Like some of the training that we have to go through, it's like, I know why you're doing this. Mm-hmm. Can we just wrap it up and say we did it? Please. Because, I mean, don't worry. I'm going to continue, no matter what training you give me, I'm going to continue to do things the way they more need or to be less, done. yeah, yeah, the, the way, way they need to be done. Well, not all, not the way. I mean, I'm open to change. I'm open to changing procedures and whatever else. So I'm not, yeah. I'm not inflexible in the least. But I'm going to continue to do things the way they're they're supposed to be done, well, or that's... in 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 some instances, the way the business demands they need to be done, which isn't always going to follow your corporate dream. You know? What's funny about that is, especially with the, now, I, I agree. When they want to train, you know, tell us something different. Learn some new things that, you know, we're going to switch over our processes to do this. Right, right, right. Completely open, you know, fine. Yeah, no, that's great. I'll bitch and moan about it if it's stupid, but I'll do it because I have to. Right, no, of course. However, this training specifically, there was nothing new. There was nothing. Everything was a rehash and calling 
uh, the same things we went through training before yeah. on different terms. And I pointed that out like three or four times. It's like, this is literally that training, but new terms. I was like, and I asked, it, it was like, so is this replacing uh, coaching uh, for improvement? And they're like, oh, no, 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 this is da, da, da. And I was like, but that's what coaching for improvement is. Right. It's yeah. the same exact thing. I don't even know what the new term was. I've um, completely forgotten it already. There was no new term. No, yeah, there was. There was something that essentially was coaching for improvement, but it's the it, it, it was essentially take your associate side and talk to them. Or not maybe not coaching for improvement. It, it's Are either you thinking way. of coaching while walking around? That maybe it was that one. No, that's always been the thing. Yes, but now there was something new. New term, same exact thing. I don't and know I don't what even, you're talking I, about. Again, I don't even remember what it was, but I know it was the same exact fucking thing. And it was just like, this is, well, I mean, okay, you want a new term for this. Great. Great. Uh, I, I don't even remember any of the terms. No, I don't either. I because, just know I mean, the test was just, I went by fucking, oh, that sounds right. These words make sense. I think I remember this and passed it immediately. I was laughing that everyone else was going slow and like uh, taking notes and shit. And I was like, I, I can't go back to my notes. <laughs> I, I just have pictures of fucking TIE fighters. I mean, you never <laughs> know. That might help jog a memory. You yeah, know? You know? Fuck it. Oh, yeah, I drew that. I drew the Death Star when they were talking about fucking beating Sally over the head with a stick. Wow. Now, the question was. And what not to do that. <laughs> and like, why are you beating Sally over the head with a stick? <laughs> because Sally needs to learn. <laughs> <laughs> the beating will continue until morale improves. <laughs> like, that's basically what This it is can... the morality stick. Yeah. Gonna... No, wait, not the, the moral. <laughs> moral stick? The moral. Dude, I don't know. The morale stick. I don't even know where the joke comes from. <laughs> the morality. <laughs> it just sounds funny to me, and so I just, I just throw it out there. Be a more moral person. <laughs> Oh God! I man. don't know, man. I'm just I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's behind me because it was it was. Uh... I'm just waiting on the next one. That's the that's the that's the worst part about being in like a corporate job in America, especially uh, when your company like they keep pushing changes are on the way, which every company needs to adapt to to expand and continue making money. Which, yeah, I completely I, understand. I get that. That, that was the one thing. That. that was the one takeaway I got where I was like, I agree with this. I'm happy to see this. This is what you need to be doing. And then it's like, oh, God, that means there'll be more of this training later. <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 a little bit frustrating, you know, like, like but whatever, right? Whatever. Oh, yeah. Whatever. It's over. We're done. That's what you got to do. Let's, let's, let's stop bitching about it. And let's get on <laughs> to something fun. Yeah, I guess um, we can do that. So everybody. I'd like to do that. <laughs> uh, you're listening to this probably on Tuesday or after that. But uh, we just saw Deadpool 2 last night. Yeah, yeah. We went and we, we did a double feature at our local theater. Yeah. So we saw both movies. And so we have a pretty good idea on where Deadpool 2 stands. Yeah. Because we got to watch the first one and then go right into the second one. I think there was a 15-minute intermission between the two. Mm-hmm. I fell asleep for about four four minutes. Yeah. I mean, I was so tired. I tried to sleep during the first movie, but the first movie is still so interesting that I couldn't so do it. funny. Yeah, no, it's still really good, and it still really holds up well. I mean, I've seen this movie at least five times now. Yeah. Like, this would be at least the fifth time I've seen the first Deadpool movie when we sat there and watched. And it's 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 still really funny. It's still really good. It's All the all the joke and the action and everything, it holds up well. Mm-hmm. And it's not a movie that goes stale easily. No. And, uh, and, and like, you see it the second, you see it again, like, like I said, fifth time. I'm still noticing things I didn't really notice before. So it's like, oh, okay, that's really cool. They did that thing. Oh, they made that reference. Oh, that's fun. Well, there's references now. I understand more. Like when he, uh, the soccer players, uh, he talks about he's got the fucking voice. I, I don't remember the joke. He's in the fucking advertising for Deadpool two now. But um, that I recognize now because I've seen the advertisements for Deadpool two. Right. Yeah. No, it, it makes a little more sense. Yeah. Yeah. It, but uh, oh man, it was it was funny. I mean, Deadpool two, uh, Deadpool two though was was yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was it was funny. It was action packed. It was pretty much um, everything that you expected from Deadpool. Yeah, it was it, it was it was what we talked about. It take the first, take Deadpool, give it a little bit more budget and push it a little bit more. Uh, and I think as far as the comedy and the raunchiness of it, they did like quite a bit more. I mean. Yeah, no, it, it was fun. I, I honestly, if there's anything I had to say negative about the comedy, though, is that it felt a little more heavy-handed. It felt yes. less. It felt less. Uh, 
less natural like the first movie was yeah. where you got tj miller and ryan reynolds just going back and forth and it's just them sitting there saying those things it's not scripted yeah. whereas a lot of tj miller's jokes in this one i felt were more scripted than before um they they felt more uh more ham-fisted in a way a little bit he like, had he and did have the my two favorite jokes he had one of those two right one of them was a visual gag and then the other one tj miller absolutely fucking murdered me um, I mean, the scene where the kid was about wanna... to torture him, I love that. Oh, yeah, no, that was good, too. That was See, good. But, I think... Uh... But, and that one, that, that's what I mean. Like, that felt way more natural yeah. than, like, the scene where Cable shows up at the apartment and he's just saying dumb shit. That, I, when he's cracking yeah. those kind... When he was cracking jokes in that scene, it didn't feel as 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 natural as like maybe it was his delivery. I don't maybe know. Maybe it was the joke itself, but to me, it didn't... I didn't get that feel... That it was coming naturally to him, like it was in the previous movie. See, I didn't, I didn't focus on T.J. Miller for that. For me, overall, it felt like every, every, in every instance, they forced in more jokes, right? That uh, were still funny, but like you said, I think a lot of it felt more unnatural. Even fourth wall breaks, um, they forced more of it in, which you would expect. But it was almost too much. Like, Derpender is in this movie a lot. Yeah. And he's Doppender. got a lot of them. Doppender. Do- Doppner. Doppender. Doppender. Get like, the Brown I, Panther's name I right. I swear to God, he said Derpender in no, the no, first no, movie. No, 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 he said Doppender. Okay. He might have fucked the name up the first time. That's why I'm but, saying yeah, Derpender, because no, no, I think it, that's what he said it, the first, Doppender, yeah, in the beginning. It's okay. Doppender. But Doppender, like, he's in this a lot more. And he's he he's hit or miss, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, but I, mean, I think they're like they they just went more all out with the jokes. Yeah, like the the kid. Uh, I don't remember that. I don't know the actor's name. Julian, young, young fat kid. Julian something. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was not like he didn't land. Like I I I, I think maybe he'll be. I okay. I gotta be honest with you. There was never any point in the sh- in the movie where I thought anything he said was supposed to be funny. Yeah, it, so I did. I never. Like, and it I never was definitely it. supposed to be. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. I never. It's, I just think I never got that impression. I never Other got the than, impression that any of his lines were supposed to be funny. Well, I think they were supposed to be awkward funny, and instead they just hit as awkward. And there are moments that he was funny because of his awkwardness. Right. But um, I for the most part, I think it was like it, it just didn't. It didn't really work. And those were those were the parts where I was just like, eh, okay. It's just he's just. I mean, I I, I I just took, and it, I don't know if it's his delivery. Or I what. took it. I took it as just him being an awkward fourteen year old. Yeah. And so I didn't. I didn't. I it, for me, it didn't affect it positively or negatively. I just, oh, he's just a kid, and he can blow shit up, and that's really cool. But he's still just an idiot. He's kid. Super fucking awkward. Yeah. I, I think I I took it as more they were trying to be humorous with it. Yeah. With his awkwardness, and instead it just came off as just fucking. I mean, awkward. I gotta say though, almost like there was moments where I wanted to be like, this is almost to the level of like um fucking that sheldon whatever shit oh man show. i hate that kid i hate whatever the fuck that name of that i show hate is. everything about that but I, I do on. too but that's that that's almost there were moments where i almost wanted to be like eh, it's pretty fucking close to that kind of show so right you know? yeah i don't and know that show is garbage um i i didn't i like i said i didn't take an issue with him so much because i mean like yeah. i said i like I mean, the way i've seen it he's, he's just a confused 14 year old awkward ass kid so i mean yeah. he's whatever whatever he says is just going to be in that frame you know well um, but tj miller tj miller almost took me out of the movie some of the times because i mean i'm focusing on everything most of what ryan reynolds did felt fine so i like it felt it still felt uh, it still had the natural feeling of the first movie um, but I didn't see. I didn't. I don't think it felt natural the amount that he did. And and, and yeah. as far as like like I mean, everybody just went so all in all the time that it's all. And it's not. And it's not even like that would take it down like even more than a percentage point. I still would say this movie's like a fucking ninety seven percent out of a hundred. Like if you go with the first movie's like a ninety nine, this is like a ninety seven. Yeah, and I mean these are not. These yeah. are just minor it's, annoyances. It's a minor annoyance. Um, the CGI was one where they like even the first movie. There are moments that CGI wasn't great. It, yeah. it had some issues, but they did what they could with the budget. This movie, you could tell they had more budget, so they were going to use it. And there were moments where it was bad. Yeah, I mean, and it, there was a moment where it was bad but really funny. 
Yeah, I, I feel like that was almost a, a gag that they yes, ran with. Yes, like like they, they included, purposefully. They they included bad CGI on purpose. Yeah, because I mean it's it's Deadpool. He's he, it's him. He's not a big hero like Iron Man or anything. He doesn't have the budget of a Thor Ragnarok movie. Yeah. So I mean, I feel like that's almost part of the joke. Some of the bad CGI that we got to see. You know, I, that's the way I took some of it. Yeah. Some of it was just like, eh, there's like, issues here. There, but, yeah, there were handful. There, were, there was a small handful of incidents where it's yeah. like, okay, you just fucked up there, but you went with Could it anyway. Could have spent some more on that, but at yeah. the same time, the action moments, the action scenes, the fight, that CGI, fucking, mwah. yeah, no, I, I so great. The choreography was really good, oh, um, yeah. and how they edited it to make it seem a little more, uh, you know, impossible was fine. Like oh I, I don't, yeah, I don't take any issue with any of it. It was really good, but. Um, I, I still I'm still focused on TJ Miller because I mean I felt like I don't know what it was about him this time around because he was great in the first. I mean, did movie. you want to hate him because of no, all the stuff I have, that's happened? I, like, I don't. Of the I movie? have no personal opinion of. Okay, him, but for some reason in this movie, I will give you. Um, there, there were a couple of, and I, there are a couple of times that yeah, and I, like I said, I wrote it off as just everybody is kind of not as funny, um, but I still I can't get over like when. When Cable is like threatening him, yeah, and stuff that was, that that was, was fucking fun. funny. That was fun. When Cable goes to the apartment and there's that scene, I won't will save till we're spoiling stuff. Right. Um, that scene, like I said, he absolutely fucking destroyed me. That whole scene at the end, when <laughs> Deadpool's walking to Cable, yes, I yeah. was fucking crying <laughs> from the- laughing. The jokes that he cracked about Deadpool himself are yeah. fine. I don't I don't know what it was when it came to the other jokes he was cracking. Actually, you know, the one part that disappointed me, like legitimately with him, is when uh, the first time Domino sees Deadpool without the mask. Yeah. He they all he says is, Yeah, he looks like an avocado. And it looks it seemed like he was they were either one, gonna have more there that they cut, or two, he was supposed to get cut off by another character. Like, he would have gone on to a rant, and then it just, there was too much of a pause. Yeah. So it was just, yeah, he looks like an avocado. And you're waiting for fucks and older, except uglier he, avocado. Except the way he delays that. The yeah. Way he's, the way, like, the tone with which he says it, it looks, it feels more like he's just... Uh, yeah, it was, it was just, eh. And yeah. I, I get, if that's, you know, the, some it, of the it's, stuff... It's the stuff, it yeah, felt, it's stuff like that, yeah. and the stuff, like, where he put too much emphasis into the joke, mm-hmm. where he's trying to... Like, like where it feels like he, it, it's almost like he's yelling it, but he's not, he's not raising his voice. He's just speaking, I but do, he's speaking okay. with such a ferocity. He does that a lot, actually, yeah, he's, that I'm, he's, now that I'm thinking about he it. He speaks with such a ferocity that for me, it just, it almost takes me out of the movie because it doesn't feel natural. It's like he's angry about something, but there's nothing for him to be angry about in the scene yeah. or in the movie or anything that's going on. And it's like, I, I didn't like that, just the way he delivered some of the jokes. Yeah. It just, it felt out of place it felt forced it felt ham-fisted in a way like i agree there were tons of jokes and there were a lot of jokes that may have not needed to be there but uh like just the way his delivery was for a lot of his jokes almost was like i feel like you could do better i feel I, like i mean especially when you we put it up against the first movie yeah. and you see how everything like for me i feel like everything flowed so naturally that it was just perfect. Whereas in this one, there are moments, and like I said, it's, it's all T.J. Miller. Like, yeah, I, I get that. You know, Ryan Reynolds might have gone a little over the top, and Dom, whoever played Domino, I can't uh, Zazzy Beats or something mm-hmm. like that. She might, she she was fine actually, but it was like I could see where some of the jokes were, you know, were probably a little too much. But for me, a lot of his delivery and a lot of the scenes, it felt it just felt off. I think uh, one one thing that. I do notice about the humor between this and the first one is the first one, you really only have two sources of humor. Yeah. Deadpool and TJ Miller. Right. And they get a lot of that screen time. Yeah. In this movie, there's a lot more characters that have a lot more, a lot of screen time. um, And it feels like they still were pushing a lot of stuff from TJ Miller. Yeah. From, uh, so, I mean, if it's something like that where he, so I see being overworked. Yeah. yeah, No, I can understand. Maybe not necessarily overworked, but trying to get the same amount of jokes in for him in less less time and yeah. like in just different it didn't it didn't play as well as it did in the first movie. Yeah, it, in the it, first it, movie it was just excellent. It, it just felt off. 
Yeah, no, yeah. the first movie, I got, I, I, I love him in the first movie. I have no opinion of him as a person or yeah. as a comedian because I, I, I don't care for one. But for two, it's like I've never watched any of his stand ups, and apparently it's bad. No, I mean, I've that, never that watched seems, a stand up. I seems to I be the consensus. Heard great things. Yeah, the consensus. Apparently, is... he's good in like I've seen him in other a uh, couple of the shows and stuff, and he's not bad. Right. Um, but I guess he's in. I don't know. There's some shit that happened in the Me Too type stuff. I mean, okay. And I mean, he's it, already been. They've already said. That is they, it a Me Too thing? Yeah. I yeah. I don't know what the controversy was um, at the time when it was a big thing. It was like I, I was yeah. focused on so because there was so much coming at us that I it might have just passed by me or mm. it might have I might have just lost my focus on it. Yeah, and I, I that's just, like I I'm gonna be honest I don't even know like whether you know if it was legitimate like you know this is something that should be talked about if this right. is on like like some of the other fucking assholes like that deserve Z, to be yeah for or, the or like you look at the one of those or, yeah Sarah, is it that where, kind of bullshit where, where just, what do you it was just some. She was just crying. Yeah, she there was... There was nothing there. There was nothing substantiated. Yeah. There was a legitimate setup. There was a thing where they... they there was an agreement. There was all the... This was happening. And nothing that she said was anywhere near true. It was yeah. misrepresented. Versus something like Harvey Weinstein being yeah. the incredible fucking shit heel that he was. Yeah. So, I it's, mean... Uh, I, I think... The really the only reason I even think of it or thought of it was that they it it, it was enough that they debated or not debated but they came out and said no we won't pull pull T J Miller from the movie because it's already been filmed and that to me coming out with that statement was like wow that's uh, that's that even though yeah that's even a bold though it's strategy, not Cotton. Let's it's see not it pulling out. him from the movie to even come out and say that like you would have. Made me think like what you know I didn't I, I was like See, well, I didn't maybe even, it is legitimate I didn't even know that was a thing yeah uh, because by the time we started to get to into the Deadpool part of it yeah I, I I watched like the first trailer and then I completely ignored anything related to oh Deadpool. I just got news stories all the time like I I, I would I ignore them I would tell Google don't don't say a thing ah. I don't I don't want to know because I don't want to risk spoiling anything for me See this is a movie uh, when it like Avengers. I'd watch trailers and that's it. No TV clips, no nothing yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing. Um, but Deadpool is the type of thing where, no, give me, literally give me everything. Because there's so many TV spots. Like you were just watching the one with Stephen Colbert. Right. There's all of the stuff with that soccer player. There's everything they did for the advertising. David Beckham. The fucking, the the um, the music video with... Uh, Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Like, every, David, yeah, that's who it was. Yeah. Everything they did, I just want, give it all to me. Fucking all over my face, neck and chest. To quote Kevin Smith. I mean, I, I wanted I, I wanted everything I could, and then that came out and was like, "Holy shit!" Uh, apparently, they've said like then Ryan Reynolds said he's definitely not going to be in the sequel, so which we don't know where <laughs> the they are cool. for a sequel. The three cool. the three cool. We yeah. don't know where they are for that anyway because Ryan Reynolds is like, "I'm taking a break," and he, he says X Force will be the next thing. Yeah. Apparently, Fox is more uh, like open, like they're like you know we'll see what it's going to be if it's Deadpool three, another X Force movie, whatever. Either way, hey hey. That All stuff's right. really not here nor there. I just it it popped into my head, so I brought it up real quick. But as far as positives, uh, like the new characters, Domino, holy shit, she's great. Domino is great. Yeah, Domino's power, the way they did it, Final Destination style, was absolutely perfect. So should, should we start spoiling things now? Should we start talking about plot points and everything? Uh, I don't want to. Let's not. Let's not spoil. Let's just talk about some things we liked, and then we'll do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like the way they did her character overall. Yeah. Like, it was really, really fucking cool. All of X Force, I liked. I will oh, be yeah, honest. Yeah, I mean, I think that they were fucking hilarious. The the I I wanted they could do, and I hope there's a lot of DVD extras. They could seriously do like forty or fifty of those interviews yeah. with TJ Miller and Deadpool sitting there just fucking grilling. Like these people come in and talk about their shit, and those two could just fucking grill them or be assholes or whatever. And I would watch that for like forty minutes. Someone took that clip from the movie, and I guess it was from a trailer. Someone mm-hmm. took that and edited it in the Doctor Who. Uh, there's a Doctor Who episode where. Um, you know, the 10th Doctor's having himself a crisis, and he's like, no, I am this. I am going to do this. I'm the guy who did that, and I'm going to save your planet. I'm like, oh, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, it, it's really good. It's really well edited, mm-hmm. um, and I enjoyed it. But 
It was when we got to that scene in the movie, I got a little excited. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. And then Terry Crews comes in. It's like, fucking Terry Crews. Oh, man. Terry Crews is just Terry, fucking great in whatever he does. Terry Crews needs to be in things. He just needs to be he in things. He needs more work. I don't yeah, know. Like, I, mean, like, he, I, guess... I want him everywhere. I want him on my cereal box. Mm-hmm. I don't even buy cereal, but I will buy cereal if his face is on it. Yeah. Like I, I want him everywhere. I want, I want more Terry Crews. He's the only reason I want to play the next Crackdown game. Yeah, because he's a playable character. He's going to be a playable character, yeah, I, or at I, least in the game. I don't give a shit. You no, know, he he said straight up himself that he is a playable character. Awesome. Cause, yeah, because I mean, he did the he you know you know how like a Wired puts those videos out where uh, you get they get people to sit down and and answer the Google questions. Yeah, he did that, and at the end of it, he's like, "Yeah, no, I'm going to be in the next Crackdown game. I'm a playable character." I'm like, "I'm yes. buying Crackdown three. I don't even fucking care." <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait for that. I mean, it's something I really want. Like, like I'm. I was disappointed when they they removed the uh, the Waze uh, voice for Terry Crews because even uh, though I don't have a need for a GPS, it was like, mm-hmm. dude, it's Terry Crews yelling at me to turn left or right. Like that's amazing. Yes. <laughs> like I want more Terry Crews in my life. Yeah, he there needs to do more of him. Um, fucking Pete. Peter. Oh yeah, Peter. The... Peter was fucking funny. Just a, a, just I'm a... just uh dude. Hi. I, like he was just a dude he came in he saw their ad in their paper or whatever he came in like so what's your superpower oh I, I don't have a superpower I just thought this looked fun <laughs> that was a good that scene was a great Derpender joke yeah because Dobbiter was just in there and they said oh you're in and Dobbiter just slams his shit Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he just slams his shit down. That was one of those times where Doppender was really funny. Because I do agree that a lot of his jokes were hit or miss. Like, I like Doppender as a, as a yeah. character. But it's like... Um, I think they over... I think he's great in small amounts. And they should have... I think they overused him a little bit. Yeah, just a there little. There were moments where he was great. But they should have kept it to more of those moments. Yeah. Just those moments. Not they didn't. They didn't need him to be in as much as he was. That being said, still... That that scene that scene with the interviews was great. Oh, that was really yeah. No, that was good. Like I enjoyed like, that. The fucking cable. Holy sh- Josh Brolin. Okay, so he was in Goonies. Yes. Obviously, he's Thanos. Yes. Like, what did he do between <laughs> Goonies and Thanos? I don't know. This dude, like, I don't fucking. I mean, I, he, I mean, I'm he, sure he's, he's been done, in movies I've yeah, seen. Yeah, he's done a bunch, a series of like, you know, I would say. Not quite A level, okay. but not quite B level action movies. Like somewhere in between there. Um, I mean, he's been in a lot of, of, of decent action flicks. Like I'm gonna have to, like, I'm seriously gonna pull up an IMDb, his IMDb, and go through and watch some of his old stuff because I don't remember him in anything. Dude, I didn't even know he but, was in the Goonies. Like, yeah, like that. I, yeah, I mean, I've seen the Goonies. Back then. I mean, I've seen the Goonies, yeah. but I didn't know that that was Josh Brolin. And it, it, it's possible. I mean, that movie's old yeah. as dicks now, so it's like I'm. I'm. I was young when that movie was new, so it's like okay, whatever. I mean, I didn't. I, don't, I, I didn't know, know until born. people made the jokes, right? Before, like pre, uh, pre Deadpool two, and then like the, I think really with the Thanos stuff, right? Um, somebody like people made the you know connection of up oh, Goonies to Thanos. So how the fuck does that work or something? And I was like, really? Oh yeah, he was that kid. And it's like okay, cool. But I mean, other than that, he's fucking killing it. He was so amazing as Thanos. He is fucking great as Cable. Oh, yeah. Cable is, he's such a fucking beast. Yeah, it was, oh, man, like, Cable's entire thing, it was really, like, his entire presence on screen, mm-hmm. it was just great. It tie- I don't know how, but somehow his his serious demeanor and, and his, his uh, I don't know how to describe he's it. He's so... He's so grizzled war veteran yes. that it plays off of Deadpool's Deadpoolness so perfectly. The chaos. Oh, yeah, I love how the only way we can describe Deadpool's Deadpoolness is by calling it Deadpoolness. Yeah. Like there's no there's nothing else that fits. <laughs> there are words that might match it, but not good, not as good as just calling it what it is. It's it, 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 It's an amalgamation of like thirty different words yeah. that all mean the same thing anyway. So it's fine. Kooky, zany. Like <laughs> those are all words that would fit. But yeah, it's just he's such an antithesis to the character. Yes. That he's fucking great. And the scenes they interact, they're just fucking he's like he's one of my, such one an of my angry favorite, motherfucker. One of my favorite jokes is uh, later in the movie when they're you know, they're fighting the the uh, the, the people from the school. Oh yeah. It's like <laughs> only best friends kill pedophiles together. <laughs> that was so good. I loved the last act of this movie, the last like action scenes, which I'll be completely honest, at first I was like, well this kind of feels out of place. And then it starts happening and I was like, and you know what? 
I don't care. This is amazing. No, it, it fit well. It like, fits it's so one perfectly. Thing, it's one of those things that at the because beginning... Because it's a Deadpool movie, yeah, it fits perfectly. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning, it's... it's it, Yeah, you're right. It's like, okay, this feels a little bit off. Yeah, it's but barely... then once you get into it, like, I, and I mean, it's real quick, like five seconds oh, yeah. into the scene. No, no, as soon you're as like, it oh, starts... I like, oh, okay, no, it makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's so... It's so insane yes. that it's happening and you're just like, yes, this is a de- this is this is a Deadpool movie. This, this should this, this is, is what the type, we, type this, of crazy. This is this is what we need. Yeah, the, yep. this would have only been better. Like this, like he could be fighting Santa and his fucking elves right now, and it would be like, yes, this is this this is Deadpool. This is what we would expect. It's like, why is Snoop Dogg in there as, as Moses? It's just fucking like, like you know, harken back to that ERB thing. Oh yeah, yeah. He's just got Snoop Dogg signing off to the side. Like, yeah, you get him. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why is he there? Like, well, fuck it, why not? So good. I I'm pissed. Um, I can't. They they remixed the Deadpool rap into the X Force. This is kind of a side thing. Into the X Force rap. Yeah. And I think they played it in some of the fight scenes towards the end, and then it was the credits oh, or okay. the yeah, later yeah, yeah, credits yeah. song. Yeah. I, I mean. And I can't find it anywhere. It's not on the album. Huh. And I didn't couldn't find it on YouTube. I'm gonna have to look again and see if maybe there's a different name for it. Yeah, I'm gonna. But say, it's definitely was... not X Force rap like the original was. Deadpool rap. Right. Maybe it's just Deadpool. And, but it was awesome, and I need to find it. Yeah. Maybe it's the new chorus to their new uh, uh, verse to Deadpool rap. I don't know. Eh, maybe. But I got nothing. I don't know anything about it was good. that. Either way, yeah, yeah. I mean, I completely enjoyed the first movie. Though. I completely enjoyed the second movie. Yeah. So should we start spoiling now? Yeah, we can do spoilers. We're about half hour stuff. in, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start <laughs> spoiling things. So if you haven't seen the movie yet... Turn it off because we've had some minor spoilers so far, but nothing that's going to affect your joke. A couple of jokes that it, it, you, they're still going to find them. I mean, there's also hilarious. a few plot points we've revealed, but nothing, nothing incredible, nothing major. Yeah. Like when Cable shows up at the apartment. Oh, so. oh well, that, that's meh. It happens, yeah. but yeah, the the whole plot to the movie is Deadpool's going to save a kid. But um, yeah, I mean, at the beginning, you sit there, it starts off. So yeah, listen, it. like come back, yeah. see the movie, come back, and then we'll talk spoilers. But yeah, we're gonna talk spoilers now. Yes, <laughs> the bit like it is spoiler time. So prepare your anus. <laughs> prepare your anus. We're going in dry. Bite the pillow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my. Oh so my. The big thing that I saw a lot of people complaining about, and this was like way early test screenings, right? Where they had initially come out before they even did the reshoots. The whole thing about killing Vanessa. Yeah, it was a big deal. Yeah. Um, I mean, it didn't affect, like, I knew I, I knew it was coming because of that stuff. Because they said, oh, an important character gets eliminated, and oh, she doesn't get much screen time. You put two and two together, I was like, okay, Vanessa's probably getting bit. Plus, one of the things I said about the first Deadpool movie was, okay, they have to eliminate her as a character, or how does Deadpool work? Right. I mean that that I mean what other motivation would he have? Yeah. Aside from money, which which establishes in the first movie that money is not as big a deal to him yeah. as it, it is in the comics. And apparently they can just get money. Yeah, <laughs> they, it doesn't matter. Really, he just goes and kills people and gets money for it. Yeah, I mean that. Well, that's that's what he is. He's a mercenary. Yeah. Yeah. I but mean, um, he could be adequately described as an assassin too. Yeah, and they, like I guess it, it, you know he does keep working. Right. In the beginning of the movie, they show the montage, which was fucking amazing. The montage was great, yeah. Great montage of him just killing bad dudes. Um, And they're like, oh, yeah, he's just doing killing bad dudes for cash. And it's like, but, I mean, why would he, would he really keep going around the fucking world uh, when he's with her? I mean, apparently so. Yeah. I mean, that that's... Uh, and then they still decided to kill her off, which, like, again, she's, like, it, it's where I think... To be, you know, maybe going forward, maybe they're just going to have him, ex- like, she accepts. Because that's one of the di- the things about superheroes, is whenever you have a significant other or someone, yeah, every single one of those, almost entirely, the, the trope they play is, go do what you got to do, and then as soon as the hero goes to do it, why aren't you here with me? Yeah. Why aren't you, why, like, fucking Mary Jane does it to Spider-Man, like... Every every character that has a significant yeah, family there's or that always knows. that there's always that struggle between doing the right thing yeah. and doing what they want you to do, and you know, still having a family and stuff. And it's like, and you, of course, the danger of having a family being known, and that's what happened in this. She yeah, fucking I mean, gets killed because they come to come after him, right? And I mean, it sucked. Yeah, but I, don't I know didn't. What, I, I didn't. Mean. I didn't dislike it like everyone else. Like I like her as an actress. She's amazing. Oh yeah, um, so Marina. Marina back in something? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know so how to pronounce things. I guess, like, yeah, not having her in the movie... Hooked on phonics did not work for me. Yeah, it did not fucking work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, having her in the movie... Yeah. I mean, you're saying that. You're making a point. Oh, yeah. Well, it just... it. Having her and having her cut out of the movie quickly, yes, didn't didn't really affect me too much. I mean, it was over quick. It's like pulling a bandaid off. We're done. Yeah, the emotional impact is there. We ain't got time to dwell on it. We got to move on. Yeah, and I mean, I think the next point of when fucking he he's like wants to commit suicide. I think that is a great story arc in, for Deadpool in the comics. Is him trying to get himself killed? Yeah. Um, and it didn't last too too. They didn't do it too much in this movie, right? Only like three times. That beginning, when he's in the prison, and then the end. Yeah. Was he like, oh, I just want to die? And it's like, no. I mean, I, I, that's that's funny in the comics. He's just, because he goes around picking fights with superheroes and supervillains. <laughs> that's why it's great in the comics. And this, it was, blows himself up, and then he tries to get him, you know, let himself die with the collar twice. Yeah, which, um, I mean, neither time works. No. Of course not. Because, I mean, why would it? Yeah, because at the beginning, when he says... Was that in the intro? Yes. The yeah. intro was so good. And I don't know if they'll do it for every screening because that was, I think that's specific to advanced screenings because he says, you're the first people that are going to see this movie. So make sure you go and no spoilers and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. That, that, that yeah, little was, it Was it that thing that he said it or was it the. No, no. It was in the actual movie. movie. Oh, okay. It was, it was in the actual movie. movie. All right. Yeah, no. So, no, there, there, there's nothing that we lose there. No. Yeah. It, it, it was in the actual movie. So okay, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Because it's in the opening, it's in the opening sequence when he's recapping how he got to a point where he's laying in his apartment on top of twelve hundred pounds of oh, whatever right. the fuck he called the the uh, the, the liquid he's laying on. Because mm -hmm. he's sitting there, and the movie opens with him. He's uh he, he sits there, turns the gas on. Oh yeah, he stove. turns on the gas, <laughs> sets the like fucking toaster strudel in the toaster oven. Oh yeah, he's smoking a cigarette the whole time, and he's sitting there laying on top of like I, I, I six to eight drums of some highly flammable liquid. I don't know what. It's probably gas. Just for yeah. Some I mean, I mean, what else is really flammable? Yeah, like jet fuel, gasoline, That's something like that. Thirty-two gallon barrel of lube. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> at least you know, one I, of those. At least yeah, one yeah, of I was those. Gonna say, lube. At least one of at those. At least was, one. I mean, he's sitting on top of he's laying on top of fifty five gallon drums. Fifty. So I could I could it. totally see one of those being like a, a thing of lube. Yeah. And because it's it's him, of course, one of those are, are going to be lube. Yeah. Because duh, that's what the fuck he it, it's Deadpool. He does weird dumb shit like that. But the movie, and, <laughs> oh, I I. Yeah. So like like it didn't it didn't bother me that she was gone. No, I mean um, it, it made it him made a getting lot of sense. over it would be the difficult point of you know having that in a whole movie him getting over the death of a loved one yeah which is like with they, they didn't have to do that in spider-man with the amazing spider-man they montaged it and it's the end of the fucking movie and it was a terrible movie anyway yeah but no like, i mean I, I i don't have fond memories of of any of those spider-man movies i mean spider-man 2 before the amazing spider-man was fine the amazing spider-man was acceptable at the end. well yeah no no i'm just i'm specifically only talking about the second one where she dies, and then there's literally like a montage of him being emo, and then finally at the end he goes to fight the rhino, and the movie fucking ends because Sony hates hates good things. Holy shit! I don't even remember that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I remember Paul Giamatti as the rhino, and that was fun. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so I, you don't want to see an entire movie where a character like Deadpool is mopey. No, of so course not. I no. I don't. I didn't hate the way they did it. They got it. They they you know, dude, Colossus fucking the, the fucking joke in the mansion. Where he's sitting there walking through the mansion. Just oh my after, god! Just That's after he blows what I said. That up. is the funniest joke in the movie. That was that was fantastic. He's sitting there. He's walking through the hallways. He's bitching, whining. Like, Where are all the Why other is this place so fucking empty? And then you, where are the other X Men? It cuts to a different angle of him in the same room. Where behind him, you see all the other X Men in a room where they just quietly close the door so he doesn't I need, see them. I need to see the movie again, and I want to pay attention because I believe that was the current cast of the X Men. I'm almost positive that that was um, that was the fucking dude who's playing Beast. Uh, I swear that was the dude who plays Scott. I mean, I I, I don't know because a I, I haven't, haven't seen him. I haven't seen him much. I mean, I saw First Class. Yeah, but I haven't seen them much. And b I I didn't get a look at them. I mean, I got really good oh, look at it's Beast. It's pretty quick. Yeah. yeah, Beast is really the one. It's you literally like on. it's literally like a two or three second 
part of the movie. Like yeah. it's really quick. But I know but I it's saw fucking Scott funny. Gene. It's a great visual guy. Oh my fucking god! Beast just slowly closes the door, like, and they're all just being super quiet. And oh, it was so fucking funny. I I, I loved that, that joke. That that was a that was a really fucking fantastic joke. Him him walking him fucking rolling around in Professor Xavier's yeah. chair. <laughs> <laughs> gets knocked over and grabbed by you know Colossus and shit like and Colossus in this movie was pretty fun Colossus Colossus had more humor and was funny I liked Colossus a lot and, and the thing I thought they were, that he was done in the beginning like they they have the him go on the mission right and they right. go to meet the kid fucking Deadpool <laughs> starts shooting people which was so I was waiting at that moment where he tells the kid tells him like yeah all of them and he's like, all right, well, I'll solve this real quick. And he's like, I'm about to be a hero or whatever. It just fucking whips out his gun and starts shooting at the fucking... Yeah, he kills one of the dudes. Uh, he kill, doesn't he kill, like, two of the attendants and misses? I think he only kills the one guy. I know. And the other that, two yeah. get behind the car. Okay. I mean, I, I don't remember. It was one of those things that happened really fast. Because I, I, I do remember the... he hits the one really super pedo looking dude. Yeah, he hits, he hits Jarrett. He hits yeah. Jarrett Kushner right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's fucking great. They actually, they make the joke in the movie where the guy at this scene, because they, they've gone, we fast forward a little bit, we're at the point where they're going to pick the kid up, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, there's one one of the attendants from the school looks like Jared Kushner. Yeah. But way more pedally. If Jared Kushner was in his 40s and had been diddling kids his whole life, that's what this guy would look like. Yeah. And they uh, make all of these jokes. They Like, they're so, <laughs> with this whole school thing, that's apparently been doing horrible shit to these uh the, these mutant kids. Yep. A Deadpool's just fucking calling them like you said at the end. He calls them pedophiles multiple times. He makes jokes about the the main dude, uh, the headmaster. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm actually now confusing. I'm trying to remember what the fuck I've been watching, where somebody was calling somebody Jared from Subway. Oh. Oh, and I don't know I don't what know. it was, so it know. wasn't this. Okay, good, because I've been watching. There was a YouTube series where somebody was calling somebody Jared from Subway. No, I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about with that one. It's definitely not this. Okay, um, at least I don't remember. There might have been a Subway joke in there. It might have been a, a, a non-Jared Kushner Jared joke, but yeah. uh, I don't. I, I'm but not, it wasn't this. Okay, no. Either way, they made it, it was it was fucking funny. He's like, oh, which one, the pedo stash or like, uh, fucking ah. Uh, it was good. Or, or Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner. <laughs> he straight calls him Jared Kushner. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fantastic. And when the kid goes, yeah, all of he shoots him in the fucking face. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's where he gets thrown into the prison. Uh, what do they call it? The freeze box? The ice box? Something like that. It's like a, a prison in the middle of what... I don't, I don't know where, but it's it's like a mountain the range. Arctic. And yeah. it's just snow. It's snow everywhere. It, what was it? It it was like it looked like it was probably in fucking um if I had to guess and I know it's a real place in the Marvel universe or right. at least in the X Men right um I th- I want to say it's somewhere in Canada that would make sense it was either it's either in it, it, I think it's in Canada or it's in like fucking like on the Mount Washington or something somewhere where it's brutally fuck off cold right right all the time I mean. Honestly, when you say brutally fuck off cold, I think of Russia. That was maybe, you know, that was my first thought, but I know it's not in Siberia. Right, right yeah. like that, Plus, they, they, they drive to wherever they're going. They that's don't, true, yeah. There's no <laughs> flying or anything. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you can't drive, but to, like a, drive to, to Russia from the yeah. United States. I mean, I used to be able to... Um, you know, decades ago when the Bering Strait during lower low tide you could drive across it, yeah. but not anymore. Yeah. But um but that's what I was saying though, is I thought with Colossus, I thought that's all we were gonna get. Right, yeah, no, and, and he does come back towards the end of the movie and it's great when he comes back because oh it's God. funny as fuck. Fucking Deadpool sitting there, he's got his cell phone out playing that song. Oh god, that was so good. And like from it, um <laughs> fucking Wham. Was that Wham? I think that was the Wham song that he was... I thought it was the song from uh, fucking... Was it 13 Candle? It, it, fucking an 80s... I, uh, I, I don't know. What, it doesn't movie, matter what And it I was. can't remember the name of it. Where yeah, the I, dude stands outside the chick's window yeah, with a boombox. Box. Yeah, the boombox. Yeah, and is playing a song. And I don't remember what the song is or what the movie is, but that it's that moment. And he's doing that for fucking Colossus. I do know. I'm pretty sure... And Colossus is sitting in bed, like rolls over, covers his ears with a pillow, just like... <laughs> 
fucking he's like a teenage girl it was like, it, so good it, it's, it's, <laughs> what the fuck man and Deadpool's just like apologizing and shit and Negasonic teenage warheads up there just like with, it, with her girlfriend with her girlfriend the, um Yugi, Yugi, Yumiki or something Yukio Yukio was Yukio. every that was a great reoccurring joke too yeah every time they every time Yukio and Deadpool saw it, <laughs> I like, like him he's funny hi Wayne <laughs> hi Yukio like he'd hi, go Yukio. out of, like they went out of their way to say hi to each other in like that every cute bubbly single, way every single time he'd just blow off Negasonic <laughs> he's like bye Yukio <laughs> yeah it, it's just it, yeah it's, it's silly as hell and I love it it was silly it, it was, was one of the it was one of the recurring gags and it was really good yeah I mean I never got tired of it I guess I should say I, I'm sure it's one of those things that may not hold, hold up to a repeated viewing because you know, they do it like seven times. <laughs> yeah, but it was one of those things that I didn't get tired of. It no, wasn't over. I, did, I definitely didn't get tired of it there. Uh, I mean, God, that the uh, fucking X Force. Yes. Just eliminate. I and I kind of had a feeling they were going to do it. Yeah. Because in the trailers, you never see any of them do anything. Yeah, you know, you don't like you. You you know, you the only thing you see in the trailer are them stepping off the uh, the the, the launch plane. platform. Yeah, the plane or, or the, helicopter. the helicopter. Yeah. Whatever it is, I don't yeah. care. It's a big, big fucking helicopter transport. Where they're jumping, helicopter. yeah, where they're jumping out to, to and it's it's fantastic because they kill all of them off, kill every one of them off, <laughs> every um, single one except Domino and Deadpool die. Hey, um, what's his name? What was the douchebag's name? Oh, a uh, uh, star or something. S- Shatterstar. Shatterstar. So who's a fucking like a real Marvel character, like? An X Men character, fucking alien. I'm just better than you than everything. I'm better than you at everything. Yeah. <laughs> and he's fucking, he fucking just falls into the helicopter. Yeah, he, he, they're jumping out. He's, he's sitting uh, there floating down, and Deadpool's like, "No, no, no, left, left, left!" And he just flies right into a rotary oh blade of a helicopter on top. I think it was like a medical helicopter too. I don't know. He, he, it was. He, he was fucking dead. It was a hell like maybe a new. Uh, it, it was that or a news helicopter. It could have been a news chopper. Fucking yeah. Deadpool's like, oh, I guess we found something. He's not better than us at. <laughs> I would argue <laughs> that in that scene, he was better than you at dying. I mean, yeah, he, he did be, succeed in doing that. Because Deadpool gets stuck on a billboard, whereas he just flies down. He just floats down into a fucking uh, helicopter and gets killed. I, I was like, it, 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 Terry Crews gets hit by a fucking bus. Oh, my God. That was fun. They all go out in hilarious ways, all one after the other. And the thing is, up until that scene, it's like, I'm thinking like, okay, we'll see what X-Force does. But I'm like, I, there's just I don't I can't see them doing a lot of stuff. And then as soon as it starts, like they talk the wind, and yeah. I was like, oh, they're all fucking. Dead. They make they make about five or six points that the winds were really really rough. That the day. wind was bad, and it's like, oh, this isn't gonna end well. And no, it's not. And then you know what? It didn't. And uh, Pete, man, Peter died. Peter, yeah. That oh, was boy, Peter. Fucking, he got vomited on by the fucking dude who vomits acid. Yeah, they had a guy that vomits acid, and he sits there. He falls into a fucking wood chipper. Jesus <laughs> and Peter Christ. goes. Peter net lands perfectly. Peter lands fine. He gets the thing off. Goes to try to save the guy. The guy throws up on him. Melts like the entire fucking side, like his entire right arm down his right, hand, the right side of his body. And he's like, okay, well that's it for Peter. Oh, and man. then of course that guy gets fed through a wood chipper and gets. You know, just splattered against the wood. On the other end. <laughs> they it's like, do, all of this is so brutal. It's so fucking. I mean, great. the whole movie is just brutal. Yeah. You know, it, it's pretty much what you've come to expect if you've seen the first movie where, you know, guys are getting get decapitated. I mean, it's right in the very beginning. Yeah, like, like the it, whole, it, just it, like the first movie. It's right The from montage is Deadpool just fucking slicing the shit out of people. Yeah, you know, like, like, I mean, one of the scenes that stands out to me when he crashes through that window on the, Jap- on the uh, Japanese sex tr- or the whatever. The, the, Chinese sex trade. Was it? What is yeah. Chinese? I was just going to say Asian because that's a little less shitty. Well, um, I, I he I swear to God, he says I don't speak Mandarin. That's why I assume it was okay. China. Uh, I point really there. So yeah, he granted. sits there. He crashes into the window. He, like the very first thing he does is chop a guy's head off, and yep. it lands on the table in front of him. And he was like, "Holy shit!" And, <laughs> and it's like. And that that whole montage, you know, he's fighting a guy in a strip club with heels on because <laughs> he was dancing on the pole, mm-hmm. and it's like he had a fucking blonde wig on. <laughs> so good. So, yeah. I there was no Stan Lee cameo, was there? I didn't see one. If no, there was, I don't think there was. Yeah, that bu- that bugged me, man. Holy shit, you're right. I yeah, just no, I realized no... it after the movie, but I like yeah, there was no Stan Lee cameo. Yeah, I I mean I I can't like yeah in the first one he was in the strip club. He yep. was the he was the DJ, and this one 
I don't remember him popping up at all. No, I unless remember... he was in the background, he definitely didn't have any lines that I can remember. I, I don't remember him being like a background voice character. Like there was one, I don't remember which movie it was, but there was one where he was a caller on a radio show. Yeah. Um, so I was like, like he's been in every Marvel movie. This is the first Marvel movie I've seen him in, or I've seen where I don't think I remember seeing him. To look at, and I haven't seen anything that said there's one missing person from Deadpool. Yeah, so like, no, I, I have to look it up. Yeah, maybe we just missed him somehow. I, I mean, you know, to be fair, possible. we were fucking tired. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know. Uh, it was still like you know that that being said, that this is going to bother me. <laughs> yeah, I will have to look and see if maybe I just missed him. He was in the background or something. Um, like but I mean, like in the Spider Man movie when he's the janitor in the library and he's got the headphones on, he's just sitting there sweeping blissfully while they're beating the shit. Yeah, in the background. In almost every movie, you can't miss him because he's got a bigger. He's like like I said, he speaks. Yeah, he's at least on screen for a minute. I mean, in some scenes, he is the entire focus. Like yeah. in that scene, in that particular part of the scene, he was the focus because he was right in right in the foreground. I believe it's it's Guardians Two, where he's in the after the credits. Maybe, or maybe he had a scene before that in the I mean, that planet of strippers. Yeah, he was he was on a planet. Hookers. He was on a planet um, in like a bar or something that they went to. With and the he hookers. Was, he was just sitting there telling a story, and then I'm there trying was, to remember there was which. This, I, the, one of the movies he's with the Watchmen, the Watchers, the Watchers, yeah, and they're all leaving him. Like, wait, where are you guys yeah, going? That's, and I thought you that was my a, ride home. That's an after the credit scene, which makes me think that I, I thought it was. Um, I, 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 I think the first Guardians. No, it's definitely not the first one because that's uh, in the first Guardians. He is. Where is he in the first Guardians? Fuck, I don't know. Now we're stuck on Stanley. But yeah, it's definitely not the first Guardians because that was all a theory back then. Right. That oh no, maybe Stanley is actually Yon, uh, not Yondu, but uh, maybe he's the Watcher. Right. Maybe that's what his uh, he because he's in all these okay, movies. If Stan Lee is going to be anything, he is the one above all. Well, yeah, but they were putting him as you know a, a, the possibility of he's the Watcher, and then in and I it had to be Guardians too. Um, and he might have been in the movie before that too, but I know in the a, uh, in the after the credits or somewhere. Yeah, they're all walking is, away from him because he's sitting there. He's been telling. He's stories telling them the whole, about. He's telling them stories the whole time. And they're mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm tired of talking to this guy. And they're like, all right, we got it. And he's and like, so, wait. Yeah, they <laughs> like turn- you said, you're my ride home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was good shit. Uh, either way, that being said, that takes it down one more point. Because fuck you, I love Stanley. No I'm kidding. But, no, no, no. I mean, but the Terry Crews thing, I, like I said, I loved it. I wanted, yeah, that's I the want him, one, that's want, the one negative. That was funny that they killed them all off immediately. <laughs> that was like a, kind of like a, oh shit, wasn't expecting that. But at the same time, it kind of was as soon as the scene. I mean, as soon Freddy as the motivational, as soon as the motivational speech in the helicopter started, I was like, these fuckers are all dead. Um, yeah, they're all not making this uh, yeah. at all. And Except I mean, for Domino. Oh, yeah, Domino makes it because she is incredulously lucky. Because she's lucky, and it is a superpower, because it really fucking is. Oh, man, absolutely. So many times, she's like, I don't know, seven? <laughs> like, the amount of times that, you know, she should have died. If this were, like, a Game of Thrones episode, it would be plot armor. <laughs> For oh her, it's just, it's just luck. It's just, that's how Which it happens. fits with the comics. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's... that's... And they did, I don't know, I, I haven't read enough comics with Domino in them. Right. To know exactly how they do her power in comics. And I think in the comics, she can bend luck for her benefit. I, and, and, like, she does it actively. In this, it's passive, where just luck works out in her favor. Like, yeah, when she and lands, they do, and when she lands and she's just walking through traffic and all the cars like are missing one her. one car like, crashes, so this happens, this happens, this happens, and then she's able to jump off of a crashed car on top of the... Uh, off the, on, off the uh, overpass yeah. on top of the convoy. It just... And the final they did it like Final Destination. Oh yeah, this no, I mean, falls over and hits this, which hits that, which causes this this thing to happen, and it was so fucking. Weird. It happens a couple times in the movie too. Like later yep. in the movie, they're at the school and they're fighting the pedophiles. And the and fight scene, it's like it's killing guys in the background for her. Yeah, it's so awesome. Like she's sitting there, she's beating the shit out of the guy. She knocks one guy into like a, a thing of, of fences and whatever, and they fall on him and kill him. And they knock, she knocks another guy over where the fences are, are continuing to fall, whatever the barriers are between the beds. And they fall, knock the guy over, pin him on a bed. And, and then the, the fucking, fucking shelf falls yeah, and the like wardrobe him. falls over and just cuts. It's just, 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 just so good. Dead. And it's like, oh, yeah. And yeah. all the kids are cheering. Like, yeah. 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 Every time her power, like from simple stuff of – Fucking uh, the dude's gun jams. In yeah, the, yeah. When she lands in the, the truck. convoy, she, yeah. she's, 
he sits there and fires it multiple times, and she's just looking like it's not gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> like like all she, that kind of stuff. Just she has that look. It's fucking like, awesome. Yeah, you, you're not gonna make this out of the life, buddy. Yeah, and it was good, man. Like like I I liked that they. I mean, apparently with the test screenings, they went back and did reshoots, not because the movie tested badly. Mm-hmm. The movie tested fine. They wanted more of a Domino. And looking like looking at what we have, what I we didn't hear over. anything about Domino. Yeah, no. From what I heard, the test screenings were more interactions between Cable and Deadpool, and specifically adding more of uh, Deadpool's girlfriend. No, it, it was definitely Do- it was Domino. From what I hear, they wanted. Oh, I don't remember. Test any audience. Domino. Test audiences were testing like a ninety-one. Yeah. So the movie was fine, but apparently some people wanted some of the tests. Some of the feedback they got was we want more Domino in the movie, mm-hmm. and yeah, we want more of the interaction between Deadpool and Cable. Um, and I, I know for a fact they reshot with uh, more scenes with the girl, and I think all of like the scenes where he's he's dead but not dead. Yeah, yeah. I I believe those were the reshoots. Probably. I think those like it. I and, and it could be wrong, but uh, I think that was the reshoots. And I think the end the end credit scene where he goes back in time and saves her. Right. I think that might <laughs> oh, have been God. the reshoot stuff. Dude, the middle credit scene? The middle credit scene, yeah. There's no end credit scene. There's just like a middle credit scene. Yeah, like round, they get through like the big part of the credits and then they The they movie have is scene. funny from the beginning to fucking the middle of the credits. That's the best like credits scene, I think, in any movie. He goes, he, it's yeah. so fucking funny. It, 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 they go through like their main credit scene where they go through a little animated montage and then yeah. you get to this middle credit scene. Um, where it's like you, you come in and it's Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, Negasonic, Negasonic and they're repairing um, uh, the, the time traveling device and they get it done they get it fixed Deadpool takes it like she's like what have we done oh the, it, when fucking yu gi is like I'm not sure we should have done that and Negasonic has this realization and she looks like it, it, more uh, the emotion on her face she shows more emotion there than she has in either movie just the absolute, like, true terror in her face of, holy fuck, what have, what have we, we done? done? Yeah. <laughs> and he, so... does, he does the, bye, Yukio. <laughs> yeah, no, she says, bye, Wade. And, like, by this point, he's already off screen. He takes yeah. his fucking head around the corner. Bye, Yukio. And then they go off, and it goes off and goes into this montage where he just goes back. So and good. He corrects the timeline. He fucking, oops. <laughs> he, he goes back and. Saves her. Yeah, he saves her. He goes, and then he goes back and saves uh, Peter. Saves Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it starts where it makes sense at first. It's like, okay, yeah, I can see him doing these two things. Now, I was just looking at an article that was talking about the end credit scene, and they said, oh, well, maybe he saves everybody. I don't think he saves another single fucking person. No, at that X-Force. point, because it go it goes from him saving people to him killing things in the past. No, 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 no. I, I get that, but they insinuated that just him there saving Peter means he saved all of X-Force. I don't think so. Oh, oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, no, he didn't no, no. save anyone I else. think the only one he saves is Peter because he doesn't say, like, move the truck or move the, the, the uh, wood chipper. All he says is, walk away, Peter. Yeah. Just walk Things away. Things are kind of scary. That's a good idea. <laughs> he just doesn't walk away. I think that motherfucker is still hitting the wood chipper. Terry Crews still gets hit by the bus. Um, the Douchebag other... McGee hits the helicopter. Yeah. And fucking uh, the, the invisible Invisible man, I can't remember his name. Uh, Vanish, Vanisher. Vanisher. Yeah, he just Vanisher. hits power lines. Power we forgot lines. about him. And it's Brad Pitt. It was it's so Brad great. Pitt. Yeah, it was, that was Brad Pitt's cameo. And I, yep. I mean, obviously it was CGI, but it was Brad Pitt's face there. Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, he did the cameo. Like it yeah. was, it, it was something that I remember hearing is Brad Pitt might have a cameo in Deadpool too, and that's his cameo. But so, yeah, he goes back and he oh, pops and up in Wolverine's origins. Stuff. He kills, he kills the Deadpool. Wade, is that you? I can't believe they did it. They figured out how to sew your mouth shut. No, they, no, they I think he said general so-and-so finally figured out how to shut you up. Yeah, and then just, bang, shits him from the side and walks up. And he's like, hey, don't worry about me. Just fixing the timeline. And he just keeps shooting. Yeah, he puts at least five or six bullets in, in the Deadpool, in, the, in that Deadpool. Oh, yes. And he goes further back in time and it goes to an office and it's, it's Ryan Reynolds and he's looking at the Green Lantern scripts like, and and Ryan Reynolds like finally ready for the big times, and the next thing you know, he just gets <laughs> shot through the he gets shot through the fucking back of the head, and he falls over, and it's just Deadpool standing here like and I don't remember what quip he made, but it's like fuck yes, that was good. It was so good, man. Oh, so all right, final synopsis. Off the rails. Go see the fucking movie. Oh yeah, this is I mean, totally like I said. Um, 
I, this is right under the first Deadpool for me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I agree. 99 for the first one. 99 out of 100 for the first one. Easy. Yeah. 97 out of 100 for this one. Like, it, it, yeah. it, it doesn't really change. Like, the formula is different. Because it's Deadpool, everything. He's chaos, he's, he's entropy, whatever. He's always going to be a little different. He's, he's crazy like that. But yeah, no. It, I'm not going to lie. I expected the end of the movie. Um, I, I really, they didn't do what I thought they would do. That was, again, one of the good Derpender scenes when he fucking runs the dude over. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. The, end, the movie was going to be him telling the kid, he is an evil bastard and he does deserve to die and just whip out a pistol and shoot the guy and be like, there, now chill the fuck out. Like that, that would be I, the resolution. Know, I, honestly, I was waiting for that. Yeah. I really was waiting for that, but that's not what happened. No, no, no. no. Instead, it, it ends up being instead, great. Instead, they're all walking away. They're leaving the guy there and Doppeter comes fucking Deadpool barreling. Even, Deadpool says, just let, it, it, Karma will deal with this asshole. And you know what? And Derpinder just... Doppinder fucking came <laughs> barreling over like a bush or some shit and just smashed that's, into the dude with the taxi cab. Fucking annihilates Fuck yeah. him. He's a skid mark. That's all that's left. And Deadpool, what I love is he starts laughing. He's like, I heard you coming and I almost couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yes. Go fucking, it's a great movie. It's it, like a 97 out of 100. It, it was, it's right in the same ballpark as... Fucking Infinity War, Deadpool One, Avengers, Black um, Panther, a fucking Thor, uh, Ragnarok, uh, Ragnarok, like Ragnarok, like all man. all of those movies are right up in the same. Like they're all they're all good. The they're same all real fun. Yeah. They're, like they're all that same level of just have a good time at the movies. Mm. You know, and not like a good time like you do with Justice League. But have a good time because no, and actually enjoy the movie. Yeah, and have yeah, a yeah. Real good time. Yeah. The oh my god, we didn't even mention the jokes about fucking the MCU and <laughs> Justice League, and fucking he calls dude. It's he one of those says things. he calls Josh Brolin Thanos at some point. Like, Does he? yeah, I'm pretty I must sure have he missed did. that, huh? I, you Unless know, I'm, I, I fucking, I swear to God, he did. But either way, he fucking calls him One Eyed Willie from the fucking um, the Goonies. There are so many. There's so many. So many references. You're so dark. And jokes. Are you sure you're not from the DC universe? <laughs> and he's sitting there, in oh, better yeah. there. When he's sitting there fighting the fu- fighting in the gym or fighting in the jail, like, what? Who are you? A Batman. <laughs> a Batman. He, yeah, he did just straight up. A Batman. <laughs> So, all right, guys. Oh, seriously, man. go Ser- see the movie. Go, yeah. Like we hadn't said enough. See this flick. It's fucking funny. It's funny. It's got all the action. It's got all the brutality. It it is a Deadpool movie. So if you're a Deadpool fan or just a general Marvel fan, go see it. It's yep. great. So for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Rip the DCU.